In this module, we will review how to create and send reminders. Reminders can be used to send a text notification prior to an incoming appointment, bill due date, or scheduled delivery date. This can help assure things like on-time payments and accurate appointment schedules. To schedule an automated reminder, you must first create a form. Think of a form as the body of the reminder where you can add placeholders for variables like date, time, location, and more. To create a new form, choose the Forms option on the left menu bar. Here you can see all previous forms created. Under New Form, create a name for your form and the text you would like your form to say. You can use the variable options to personalize information inside of your form message and choose create form. In this example, we have crafted our training appointment reminders form. We have included the customer's first name and last name, the event name, and the time that the event is scheduled for. Almost any variable field can be used by inserting the symbol into the message. These variables must exist in the files used for importing in the next step, and we will create our form. Now that our form has been created, at any time we can come back and choose Edit to edit this form or Use to send this message. Your CSV file will be required to have your contact's information, a column for first and last name, phone number, appointment date, the appointment time, and any additional variables that were created inside your form. In our example, we used event, so we will need the event name. Now that we have created our form and our CSV file, we will now schedule our reminders. Choose reminders from the left menu bar, and you will see the reminders that have been created. Choose the reminder that you would like to use, and you will get a quick view of the verbiage inside the form that you've chosen and the information that needs to be in your CSV file fields. Choose the CSV file that you would like to upload, and the information will be pulled into the portal. Next, we will map our columns to match our CSV file. Our first column is first name, so we will match it to our first name column in our CSV file. From the dropdown, choose first name. In the following field, we will choose our last name. When there is information that you do not want included in the portal, choose select field slash ignore. We will follow this rule for phone number, tags, date, and time. Events we will map to our event column. In the next section, we will map our reminder time fields. We will map our phone number. If your CSV file has date and time combined in the same column, you will choose the date time combined option. If your date and time are in two separate columns, as in this example, you will choose the column for the date and you will map the column for the time. You will map the contacts time zone and choose which number you would like to send this message from. And in the final section, you will map when you would like your alerts to be sent. Your options will be time from now if you would like to send it at a specific time from now, such as hours or minutes at a specific date and time if you would like to select what date and time you would like this message to be sent, or time before reminder date and time. You will choose how long before the scheduled date and time you would like this reminder to go out. In this example, we'll send one alert 24 hours before the appointment scheduled date and time. You can send up to three alerts and you can add a label for reporting. You can also choose to save your mapping settings to use with the future reminder and choose Submit. You have now scheduled your reminders. If at any time you would like to view the reminders that are being sent, you can refer to your calendar to view everything that has been scheduled. You're now ready to create and send reminders.